السلام عليكم عنوان المحاضرة هير سوتزم هير سايكل جروث Hair can be categorized either villous, which is fine, soft, and not pigmented hair, or terminal, and which is long, coarse, and pigmented hair. Terminal hair growth cycle composed of three phases, which is anagen, growth phase, catagen, involution phase, and telogen, which is rest phase. Androgen increase hair follicle size, hair fiber diameter, and the proportion of time of terminal hair spent in energy and face. Physiology of androgen. Androgen is a steroid that stimulates development of male secondary sexual characteristics and consequently promote growth of sexual hair. Major androgen are testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, androstenedione, and dihydroepiandrosterone, and dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate, which is adrenocorticotropic hormone, which is ex ex exclusively related to adrenal gland. In the non-pregnant woman, androgen is produced by ovary, adrenal gland, adrenal gland, and peripheral conversion. Ovarian production occur by effect of GnRH, which is secreted in pulsatile fashion. LH hormone act on the cell of preenteral follicle and lead to production of endorosinodione, dehydroabiendorosterone, and testosterone. FSH Hormone, which is secreted from pituitary gland, act on granulosa cell in the ovary to aromatize this androgen uh, to estrogen. And aromatize androgen to form estrogen. Estrogen either estrone or estradiol. Uh, regarding adrenal production of androgen, stimulation of adrenal gland by ACTH results in androgen production from adrenal cortex. And the main androgen from adrenal cortex is dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate and smaller amount of <coughs> dehydroepiandrosterone and androstenedione. Energy على action. Uh, skin and hair follicle are androgen responsive. Uh, cells and so has a ability to metabolize androgen. The hair and drostinodian and the testosterone uh, enter the target cell and reduce to what to dihydrotestosterone by effect of 5 alpha reductase enzyme. Dihydrotestosterone uh, bound to cytoplasmic receptor which is found in the hair follicle and promote hair growth and so increase hair growth and also initiation of the conversion of villus hair to terminal hair. In female, during puberty, a certain amount of androgen stimulated is, is expected and so this will lead to uh, clinical appearance of pubic hair and axillary hair. Also, androgen stimulates facial pilosebaceous gland, resulting in pubertal development of acne. Uh, metabolic conversion of androgen to high dihydrotestosterone may be accelerated, and this will result in irreversible conversion of villus, villus hair to terminal hair, where in the area of androgen sensitive skin. So, this excess of androgen is pathologic and clinical synapses and symptoms of hirsutism and virilization will result. Some women who have hirsutism but without hyperandrogenemia, so it is known as idiopathic hirsutism. And those women, twofold or greater elevation of androgen level, have some degree 
of her sukzum or alternative pilot species response such as an acne vulgaris and siboria or pattern alopecia. Yeah, definition of hirsutism and hypertrichosis. Hirsutism is defined as development of androgen dependent terminal body hair in women in male distribution pattern places in which the terminal hair is normally not found in female. Hirsutism usually represents androgen overproduction or enhance androgen metabolism in the skin. And this is seen in the upper lip, chin, ears, cheeks, lower abdomen, back, chest, and the proximal limbs. While hypertrichosis is generalized excessive hair overgrowth, which occur on the trunk and hands, are not localized to the androgen dependent area of the skin. So it is not thought to be an androgen dependent process. Etiology ممكن تكون congenital excellent congenital excellent dominant trait or acquired later in life which is more common as in cancer, metabolic disorder, anorexia, thyroid disorder and most commonly drugs or chemicals as oral phenytoin, diazoxide, minoxidil and cyclosporine. Etiology of hirsutism Our shared ovarian, most common is PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, also stromal hyperplasia and stromal hyperticosis, ovarian neoplastic disorder, uh, androgen secreting ovary neoplasm, ممكن يكون sertolylidic cell tumor, helarlidic cell tumor, granulosa cell tumor, and gonadoplastoma as a germ cell tumor. Regarding adrenal disorder that kills hirsutism and enzyme deficiency as in congenital adrenal hyperplasia, and it is known as adult onset congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Which is may go under-recognized antelopuberty. يعني إحنا قلنا early uh, two types of congenital adrenal hyperplasia: early onset and late onset. Late onset اللي هو adult onset uh, when it is diagnosed or appear during a puberty, when hirsutism, amenorrhea, and virilization may occur. It's cause severe hirsutism uh, if patient not receive glucocorticoid. إحنا الـ pathophysiology of congenital adrenal hyperplasia شرحناها بمحاضرة الـ-puberty إذا أتمنى ترجعوا لها other, other adrenal cause of hirsutism is an adrenal neoplastic disorder which is rare adrenal tumor is a rare cause of hirsutism لكن إذا صار عندنا symptoms راح تكون acute and severe دياز اللي قلنا هو ديهايدرو ابي اندروستينو اه ديان سلفيت وش is exclusive to adrenal gland will be elevated and it's usually more than 700 to 800 microgram per deciliter this increased suspicion of presence of adrenal gland tumor also testosterone uh, higher than 200 nanogram per deciliter other adrenal cause of hirsutism is caution syndrome, which is associated with overproduction of, of cortisol, and this will increase androgen level and cause hirsutism. Uh, as you know, this syndrome has three etiology, adrenal tumor, ectopic production of ACTO, ACTH, which is non-pituitary tumor, or excessive production of ACTH by pituitary, which is known as caution syndrome. احنا قدنا هسه الاتيولوجي اول شي اوفريان وبعدين ادرينال نجي على الاياتروجينيك ميكانيزم ذات كوز هرسوتزم انه اكسوجينال سورس اوف اندروجين شود اولسو بي كونسيدرز از ا كوز فور هرسوتزم از مثال تستستيرون دنزول انابوليك ستيروس اج از اوكساندرولون ان ذات مي ليد تو اكسسيف هير جروث 
الإديوباثيكارسوتزم which occur without adrenal or ovary and dysfunction patient it can have a regular normal menstrual cycle and there is no uh, exogenous source of steroid hormone and the level of testosterone and bound testosterone and the hairs or in all all androgen are normal so in this patient there is an increase in 5 alpha reductase enzyme activity is the major mechanism of action and this enzyme convert testosterone to the more potent dihydrotestosterone in the hair follicle clinical findings symptoms and sign examination we should assess distribution of excess hair uh, assessment of body mass index and search for acanthosis nicaricans which represent the insulin resistance and assess signs of virilization as clitoral migeli male uh, pattern of balding deepening voice or decrease in breast size also should be assessed Freeman Galloway grading system uh, is used to determination of severity of hirsutism uh, it is uh, hair, hair growth is rated for from zero, uh, which is no growth of terminal hair, to four, complete and heavy cover in nine location of the body. So the maximum score is thirty six. Here is the Fermin Galway evaluation, and these are the site of hair distribution in the body that we depend to calculate the score of the Fermin. Galloway evaluation of her system. Laboratory test, a free and total testosterone level, prolactin, LH and FSH in obese women with PCOS could benefit from glucose tolerance test and cholesterol level assessment. Imaging a study, sonograph scan of ovaries is important to evaluation of PCOS, which is the most common ovarian cause of hirsutism. CT scan also or MRI of adrenal gland should be performed only when there is a high index of suspicion of a tumor exists, especially when hair growth is sudden and heavy. Treatment of hirsutism First of all, lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes uh, by promotion of weight loss. Uh, through diet and physical exercise is useful for for obese patient medical treatment we have local or systemic local which is ifluorinating is topical agent is a reversible inhibitor of ornithine decarboxylase enzyme which enzyme that catalyze the rate limiting steps for follicle polyamine synthesis and which is, which is necessary for hair growth systemic treatment Reduces stimulation of energy growth faced by testosterone. This is the aim of systemic treatment. First of all, we can use oral contraceptive pulse. Uh, by this pulse, we do um, suppression of LH hormone, uh, which is the primary driver of ovarian androgen secretion, and uh, but this is done by compound or contraceptive pulse. Uh, the the efficacy of contraception uh, and suppression of hirsutism depend on content of ethanol estradiol and on the nature of estrogen. The pulse which contain progesterone with anti-androgenic properties as ciprotyrone acetate or drosoprenone which is found in Diane and Yasmin are effective in hirsutism. While pulse which containing levonorgestrel or norethesterone are more androgenic and may exacerbate the hirsutism. Gonotrophic releasing hormone agonist it's used in severe hirsutism of ovarian origin, uh, such as ovarian hyperthecosis, uh, who have suboptimal response to oral contraceptive pull. Sometimes we use gonotrophin releasing hormone analog, uh, which inhibits secretion of gonotrophin from pituitary gland. 
and this will inhibit secretion of androgen and estrogen from ovary but there is a risk of osteoporosis and menopausal, menopausal symptoms and with long term therapy also for systemic treatment uh, we have androgen receptor antagonist which are ciproterone acetate spironolactone and you have for generation of uh, progesterone, flotamide, finasteride, glucocorticoid, which is dexamethasone, and use in treatment of fursitism in patient with hyperandrogenism of adrenal origin. Dopamine is centrally acting inhibitor of a prolactin secretion and is frequently used in treatment of hyperprolactinemia. Um, Ketconazole is a synthetic imidazole derivative on the block adrenal and gonadal steroidogenesis. Uh, should be avoided because safer therapeutic uh, regime uh, is exist and cannot it cannot be exist. Mechanical th therapy as laser electrolysis devices and cream and waxes. Surgical treatment in a minority of her suit women, uh, when a specific cause can be identified, therapy uh, should direct it toward the underlying uh, disorder as there is ovarian or adrenal tumors, which should be surgically excised. Women with cushion syndrome or Cushion's disease are treated with a transphenodal pituitary microsurgery. Alternatively, when Cushion syndrome is caused by adrenal tumor, simple adrenalectomy is sufficient. <laughs>